Hello friends, in this video we are going to review the biggest sale of JAST or Zinc in Afghanistan. We will see how this big deal worth $7.8 million took place and what effect this sale had on the local economy. Also, we discuss the number and different locations of the search mines in this country and examine the historical background of these mines. Join us to find out the depth of the story and understand how these natural resources are exploited. At the end of the video, we will analyze the job opportunities created and the challenges facing this industry. Stay with us until the end of the video to get to know the exact details and interesting information that will surprise you. The Taliban's Ministry of Mines and Petroleum has announced the sale of 20,000 tons of zinc from the Gande Kotal field in Yakawalang district of Bamyan province worth 7.8 million US dollars. The Ministry of Mines and Petroleum of the Taliban published a notice that this amount of oil was sold to a private company during a tender process with the presence of the head of the ministry. According to the announcement, 31 companies participated in this tender. On the other hand, with the implementation of several large and small projects in the country, many job opportunities have been provided for people and this process will continue. Meanwhile, yesterday, the Ministry of Mines and Petroleum of the Taliban announced the sale of 60,000 tons of Kashgari Sarpol crude oil worth about 33 million US dollars. Afghanistan's lead in zinc mines cover a wide area around the Hindu Kush mountains. The research that has been done about lead in zinc mines in Afghanistan shows that there is lead among 26 types of rocks in 65 regions. So far, Eight lead mines have been studied and stabilized. The main lead in zinc mines in Afghanistan are Nalbandan lead mine, Shahida Herat, a mine on the way of the Helmand Farah Sea called Bakhod, Noor Valley, Gabargi, Kala Asad, Bibi Gohar, Madan Sepira in Paktia, and Frangil lead and zinc mine in Parwan province. The mines of Kandahar were researched in 1950 by an expert named Limon and in 1965 to 1966 by Russian experts. Lead and zinc deposits have been observed around the Hindu Kush mountains, especially around Helmand River and Hari River, in the mines of Dera Nur, Yektakum, Kala Asad, Doki 41, Gabargi and Bibi Gohar. There is also a lot of zinc and copper, but there is a lot of fluoride in the mine itself. Lead and zinc mines are generally observed in Skarn magmatic and metamorphic rocks. Afghanistan's lead and prospecting mines are summarized in three potentials. Fringal Leeds and Zinc Mine is located 133 kilometers north of Kabul in the Gorban Valley and has a historical history of mining. Its ore is Galen, PBS. The grade of lead is 9% and the grade of zinc, search, is 3%. Its definitive reserve amount is 221,000 tons of lead. Galen, which is the main ore, is located among the Sekong limestone layers. This mine is divided into two main parts, eastern and western. The eastern part is old and was mined from 300 BC to the 14th century AD, about 1,700 years. But the western part of the mine has been mined since 100 years ago. Galen vasphalerite of this mine was formed by contact metamorphism of sheets or red limestones. The long and wide tunnels and excavations of the mine can be seen in large numbers in the eastern part of the mine. The western part of the mine is located about one kilometer from the eastern part, and its mining started in 1850, 1229 AD, during the era of Amir Sher Ali Khan, and it was active until 1919. The chromite deposits of this mine are found along with serpentines, Shah Maksud, which are actually saconite and pyrochnite. Chromites are in various shapes and long lenses, scattered fragments and small grains. The most important chromite mines in this area are deposits number two, three, and five. During the exploratory operations of these mines, 975 meters of excavation was carried out, and in four cases, chromite veins were encountered. For laboratory work, more than 100 samples have been sent to America for analysis. The ratio of chromium to iron is 3. 1. The grade of chromium reserves varies from 35% to 95%. 
the average chromium reserves are about 48%. The chromium reserves of these mines are calculated to be around 180,000 metric tons. Farnjil mining area in Parwan province includes several mines. One, Varoy Barit and Lead Mine, reserve of 209,000 tons with a grade of 7.83% in the form of mineral or sedimentary hydrocarbons. Two, manganese, cobalt, and nickel mine, with a grade of 2838% manganese oxide, 3% cobalt, 13% nickel, in sedimentary form three. Asbestos and talic mine. There are 16 fine-grained masses of barite in this area. 500 meters west of Yarit Farnjal mine, there is a manganese mine with 120 meters in length, three meters in thickness with 40 to 20% pyrolucite, 50-70% pisolomelane, and 2-3% iron oxide. Bibi Gohar Kandahar lead and zinc mine is located in Kandahar's Bibi Gohar mountain in the Kakriz area of Kandahar, at a distance of 82 kilometers north of Kandahar. It is of hydrothermal type, and the main vein has lead and zinc minerals with a length of 50 meters and a width of 10 meters. This vein, which was formed in the contact of the azonite rocks, monzonite, and limestones, may be of the type of porphyry or scarn. In 1949 and 1950, this mine was excavated and sampled by Morrison Company experts. The samples obtained from 411 meters of drilling were obtained and sent to the United States for stabilization, and the results after analysis were obtained as follows. In the end, we hope that this video has been able to give a comprehensive and accurate look at the largest sale of Jasper in Afghanistan and the importance of the country's mines. Afghanistan's mines, with their huge potential, provide unique opportunities for economic development and job creation. Considering the existing challenges and opportunities, a bright future awaits this industry. Thank you for sticking with us until the end, and we hope this information was useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to let us know in the comment section and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.